Hello out there YouTube. Today I'm here to talk to you about Starcom. Starcom is one of those forgotten 80s toy lines that uh, I just totally fall for. Um, I do remember these. Mostly I remember the little figures that they came with. I think they had like little magnetic feet. Definitely going to hunt some of those down, but um, that's for another video. For this video, I just want to kind of introduce the concept of these. Now, um, as you can see, it's sort of a futuristic tankish kind of who knows vehicle um, you see the molded detail even on the underside there very nice lots of molded detail in this line uh, it was originated by Coleco and it had sort of a tie to NASA um, however it was unpopular in the United States it only lasted a year but went on longer in Europe so when Mattel bought the rights to these toys well to the molds uh, they got rid of all the US deco and went for just, you know, made up symbols and such. Anyway, the thing that Starcom was really known for was its power deploy gimmick. Now basically, um, this allowed for the toy to open up and deploy weapons and do all kinds of stuff, but without just popping open like a spring mechanism would. Instead, it has a wind-up gearing mechanism. Uh, which allows it to take longer, be a little more interesting, things can kind of go in stages. It's very cool. Now, obviously on the larger toys, it's even more impressive, but we're just going to start here today with this, uh, this little toy. Now, this orange switch here, you push it down. Sometimes it works better than others, that's just the way it goes, but here, let's give it a try. There you go, pretty good one. Um, so now that it's open, you can see there's even more molded detail and sticker detail. Everything's detailed. Um, even the cockpit, which is going to be almost impossible to see, but there's a sticker here for the screen. There's uh, molded details. Here, it's got a little firing drone, I guess you could call it. You can see in the cockpit, there's all kinds of detail. Everything's detailed. Detail, detail, detail. Even this panel here that's hidden except when it, you know, opens up so it's functional. Even that has molded detail. Fantastic. Love it. Uh, I'm assuming these are magnetic, but I don't know that for sure, so don't, don't sue me yet. When I get the little dudes, I'll, uh, I'll check that out. But anyway, also had spring-loaded firing gimmicks. Uh, this will turn like that. It's got a little spot for the dude to, to uh, sit and drive the vehicle. Just very cool. It's a fun little toy. And then to, to wind it, all you have to do is push in all the little bits and it's ready to go. Next time you want to attack, you just hit the button, pops open. Great toys. Um, yeah. So that's the basic idea behind Starcom. Um, we'll, look at, we'll look at more of these later, but for now I just wanted to... Uh, kind of introduce it and show off this cool little toy. Uh, and yeah, fun stuff. So there you go, Starcom. Thank you for watching. Take care until next time.